Do it for the Big Foot Highlanders. McCullough and Jack to keep the receipt. Recovered by the Highlanders. It's going to be first and ten. Cloudman at the 41 yard line. Jordan Coffey on the carry gets it up to about the 35 yard line. Second down and four. Post the Viking tacklers. is no good. Here's for Cloudman. <laughs> Step across on the return. Gets it up to about the 35 yard line and it's going to be first and 10 Avery. to Tyree Jackson as he gets it across the 45 up to the 47 yard line. It's enough for a Viking. First down. Gets across midfield down to about the 46 yard line of the highway there. It's going to bring up second down and four.
But that falls incomplete to bring up third down for the Vikings. And it's 50 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. First and 10 for the Highlanders.
Tristan Lacey on the case for the Highlanders and he's marked out of bounds at the 12-yard line. It's enough for a first down for the Highlanders. Athletics, we would like to take a moment to ask any former Viking athlete who is in attendance tonight, please stand. Any former Viking athlete in attendance tonight, please stand. Jesse Jones, he gets it across midfield, down to the 47 yard line of the Highlanders. Gonna bring up fourth down and two. A short two for Avery. Sideline warning against the Highlanders. the 40 down to the 39 yard line and it's enough for a Viking first sound.
Let's go and get on the carry. Short gain on the play. Dylan Johnson on the stop for the Highlanders. He's going to bring up second nine for Avery. that will be coming through will have a small light on them, but again, it may be difficult to see them in the dark. Again, the Blue Ridge Relay will be taking place this evening as you exit the stadium and leave the facility, so please use caution on your way home. Tickets filled in by the Highlanders. Hunter Blair fielding the kick. They're going to mark him at the 41-yard line. The 40-yard line. Not real sure. They back and forth. All right, there we go. Just ahead of the 40-yard line. First and 10 Highlanders.
Josh Blair on the carry. Gets it up to about the 39 yard line. Second down with like 12 for the Highlanders. Called by the Highlanders. Ten seconds remaining here in the first quarter of play. Highlanders lead the Vikings 14 to 6. Fans, while I have your attention for a moment, I would like to also say this. As we celebrate 50 years of Viking athletics and football, we would like to take a moment to ask any former Viking coach, former or current Viking coach in attendance, Please stand at this time. Any former or current Viking coach in attendance, please stand at this time. Let's take a moment to recognize these former Viking coaches who have made our athletic program great for the past 50 years. These individuals have given time, energy, and dedication to making Viking athletics what it is today. Thank you to each of you who served as a coach to help make Avery what it is today. Take the Viking bounce back to the 39-yard line. And that's the end of the first quarter. Your score, Cloudland 14, Avery 6. Let's get on your feet, Viking fans. Let them hear you. Nice contest, referee Dusty Haynes, umpire Rodney Borders, headlinesman Mark Baxter, Ryan Judge, Ashley Petty, 
Back judge, Darren Glenn. And clock operator is Nicholas Pattinson. Gets it up to about the 41 yard line. Second down and nine for Avery. Stays out of the end zone, but it will be a touchback. First and 10, Crowder. Oh, we want to say congratulations to our middle school Vikings as they picked up a big victory here on Tuesday evening against Kane River with a 30 to 12 victory right here at McDonald Stadium. Good 
Bob Young Taylor. He can up to the 24 yard line. Second down and six. Tonight, there's a few guys up here at the top of the home bleachers. 
If you're looking to give them some money so you can have a chance to win that, catch them right now. Highlanders into the end zone for the touchdown. I like their condition for that. They might be a little winded. Pass is complete to Dylan Johnson for the six one conversion. Your score now Cotton with 22, Avery 6. Fans coming up on September the 15th, which is a Saturday at 6 p.m. right here. In Viking Gym will be Black Light Volleyball, sponsored by FCA UIC. It will be pastors versus students. Everyone welcome to come out for a great evening and a good time of fellowship. Also, see you at the poll will be here at Avery High School September the 26th. That will be at 7.45 a.m. in front of Avery High at the poll. And tonight, following the game, the fifth quarter party at Elk Park Christian Church. That is at 220 Old Mill Road in Elk Park. Food Games Fellowship. All ages are invited to come out. Again, that is following the game at Elk Park Christian Church. Fifth quarter party. yard line for the Vikings. Staff member or current teacher or staff member in attendance 
to please stand at this time. Any former or current teacher or staff member at Avery High School, please stand at this time. We'd like to take a moment to recognize these former and current Viking teachers and staff who have made this experience great for the past 50 years. That pass is complete to Kristen Lacey at the 14 yard line. Harry Jackson has a start for the Vikings. Burstfield on the carry for the Highlanders gets it down inside the five yard line. We're going to mark it at the four. Actually, we're going to mark him at the five. So, second down, one to go. Burksville again on the carry into the end zone for the touchdown. score now 30 to 6 in favor of the Highlanders. Jackson on the return. Going to mark him at the 26 yard line. 514 remaining here in the first half of play. First and 10, Avery. Gets it up to the 42 yard line. Looks like they're going to mark him at the 43. And it's enough for a Viking. First down. Incomplete. It's going to bring up second down. 
for the Vikings. is no good for the Vikings with this score now. Highlanders 30, Vikings 12 with 429 remaining here in the first half. <laughs> Connor Birchfield on the return for the Highlanders. They're going to mark him down at the 38-yard line. Eli Hayes on the stop. First and ten, Cloudland. to about the 45-yard line of the Vikings, and it is enough for a first down for Cloudland. for the Vikings. Connor Burksville to get on the carry, gets it down to the 10 yard line. <laughs> Sam McCollum, Gabe, Udi, and Lucas Andrews on the stop for the Vikings. Touchdown, 
like a hold on the play. So we're going to back it up and do it from a little farther. They're going to back him up five more yards, and we're going to retry the attempt. Wow, and that pass is dropped, so the conversion attempt is no good. Your score now, 36 for the Highlanders, 12 for the Vikings. And fans, as we celebrate 50 years of athletics here at Avery High School, I got one more for you. If you have ever attended an Avery Viking athletic contest, please stand. For those of you who are not listening, that should be everyone in attendance because you're all at a, a Viking athletic contest. It's because of fans like you that make 50 years special here at Avery High School. Give yourselves a pat on the back. And thank you to the three fans that stood up. Also, while I have just one moment, I want to wish a happy anniversary to a Viking coach. Mr. Kent Hayes and Miss Heather Hayes celebrating an anniversary today. Happy anniversary, guys. for the Highlanders at the 40 yard line. Now 
Josh out in the middle home to carry. They're going to mark him at the 36 yard line. It will be a first down for Plowman. One fifty two remaining here in the first half. Come on, Vikings fans. Bring a football left here in New England tonight. It's going against the Highlanders. That's going to back them up to the 28 yard line. Second down and 16 to go. Pass intended for Josh Blair falls incomplete. 18 seconds to go in the second quarter.
Again, ladies and gentlemen, taking the field at this time, we have the Avery Viking Marching Band.
2018 Avery Viking Marching Band. Folks, we got some scores for you. Mount Heritage 28, Rosman 12. for the Highlanders is going to bring up second down in two.
Cruisers 2018, Avery Viking Cheerleader. is no good. Your score now 44-18. down to the 37-yard line, and he's going to bring up first and 10 Cloudland. Opportunity for you to pick up a ticket for the drawing on the Arctic Cooler or the Orca Cooler. See one of the JROTC members. 
We'll be drawing that here shortly, so you might want to catch some now. For the Vikings. Get a mark at the three yard line. Looks like first and goal for Fowler. Let's 
conversion attempt is complete to Josh Clay. He scores 52, 18, Highlander. Cooler, pull out your ticket. We have possibly got a winner. If you don't claim it, I get the cooler, and we're all happy, right? First things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and announce that it's a red ticket. So if you have a red ticket, just hold it in your hand. Sir. And the conversion attempt is picked off, unfortunately, under high school rules. You have no chance to advance that. But we do have a ticket. It is a red one. Number 688. program would like to thank Midway USA for supplying the coolers for this year's giveaway. If you didn't win, don't worry. Next Friday night, you'll have another chance. They have orphan coolers to give away at every home game. All proceeds do go to the Avery JROTC program.
15 for Avery.
to the end zone. Four touchbacks. The good fans coming up after the game tonight at Oak Park Christian Church will be a fifth quarter party that will begin following the game. Food, fellowship, and games will take place. Again, see you at the poll on September the 26th at 7.45 a.m. right here in front of the high school at the flagpole. And Blacklight Volleyball, September the 15th at 6 p.m. Pastors versus Students. Again, 6 p.m. Viking Gym, Blacklight Volleyball, sponsored by FCA UIC. That's the center for Tyree Jackson, falls incomplete. the 20 to the 23 yard line. Here 
There is also coming up next week on Tuesday, the 11th, the Lady Viking tennis team will take on Patton. That will be here at 4 o'clock above the press box on the tennis court. to Jesse Jones. He gets across the 35 down to the 39-yard line. It is going to be enough for a Viking first down. Yeah, 
Holding problem is problem. Mm -hmm. Also, 
Looks like a split tonight contact. It's going to take him down. We ask that everyone please be careful on your way home. As you look out for folks who are running in the blue, blue relay, please pick up any trash that you may have around you. Dispose of it the proper game. Have a safe trip home. 
Y'all be taking more back to Long Mountain. We'll see you again next Friday night right here at the Donald Stadium at 7.30. We're we'll Vikings football taking on drone. The first JV game of the season will take place on Thursday evening. As they travel to John. Also, coming up Tuesday, the Ranger Bass Tennis Team will be at home at 4 o'clock against Pat. The Ranger Vikings volleyball team will be on the road at Madison on Tuesday. And Blue Soccer will be on. This field, Monday night, against Providence Academy out of Tennessee. Thanks again for coming out tonight. Hope everyone has a safe trip home. We'll do it again next week.